Good evening. Welcome to Hampton College. What I should, I'm about to say shouldn't take more than a few hours, so please make yourselves comfortable as I take you through the 400 slides of my PowerPoint presentation. Thanks, Mr Gilliam, but I reckon we'll take it from here. Yes, it's our school and we're going to show the Year 6s how awesome it is. But don't worry, Mr G, we'll let you have some time for your presentation at the end. In the meantime, come on in. and it helps you know your way around. In Blue Block, a math, science and design technology. Green Block is PE, more science and achievement support. Between green and purple we have our amazing library. In Purple Block there is ICT, languages and drama. In Orange Block we have English, Geography, RE and History. So if you're using it tonight, you'd be able to come into all of our amazing classrooms and meet teachers and students, as well as see your lessons in action. On this occasion though, because of super annoying coronavirus, we'll have to show you around as you follow us. Let's start in PE. There's always some fun going on there. So on the left hand side here, we've got a fitness suite. Open the door, you can see that the fitness suite is fully equipped with spin bikes and treadmills and weights. And as you get older and go further up the school, you would have more access to this to develop your own personal training programs. So we're going to go further down the corridor and into what we call our small gym. The small gym is what we use for dance lessons and table tennis, as you can see, they're set up um, from a lesson this morning. And we would do for example, into house games like dodgeball in here or some indoor cricket and sometimes some indoor football. So this is what we call our small gym. But you would certainly access that during year seven um, and again, a little bit more as you go through the school. So as you can see, main sports hall, I'm really proud of this facility. We were teaching here basketball, indoor cricket, gymnastics, indoor football or futsal. And at the minute we're using this space for our health-based PE programme. Um, we do lots of things in here, and obviously in Year 7, um, you would have access to this. I love PE. Where next? I think we should head up to maths and see what they're doing. Teaching maths is built on the concept of mastery and makes strong use of electronic resources such as Hegarty Maths. The teachers really help you understand what you're learning, so don't worry. Now let's go see the arts. We love the fact that all students get the opportunity to express ourselves through art, music and drama for the whole of Key Stage 3. The arts faculty is always busy and produces concerts, musicals and exhibitions to showcase the talent that we have at Hampton College. They're hugely popular in GCSE as well. Hi, I'm Mr Copping. Uh, I'm the Head of Music here at Hampton College um, and we're really looking forward to seeing you all join us um, next year. We do absolutely loads of stuff in music that you should find really exciting. Loads of playing, uh, drums, pianos, ukuleles, guitars, all that kind of thing. We've got a lovely computer suite where you can learn how to create music uh, for things like film soundtracks and stuff like that. As well as that, we've got loads of extracurricular things. So there's choirs you can join and orchestras and bands and all that kind of thing. We do shows, we do concerts, and we also do a lot of instrumental lessons. So if you're interested in learning any instruments, we do lessons in voice and guitar and piano and bass and cello and flute, you name it, we do instruments uh, and lessons on those instruments. So it'd be really good to see you here up in the music department, getting involved, doing lots of exciting stuff. Um, and we look forward to seeing you in September. What's the music teacher's favourite crisp? How should I know? Quavers! And on that note, let's go on to step, Margie. 
We follow a rotation of subjects in technology that allow us to experience wood and metalwork, product design, textiles and food technology. It is a hands-on curriculum that allows us to design and create tangible products that we can feel proud of. We are lucky to have specialist facilities that allow us to bring, begin to learn about programming, coding and creating computer games and to develop skills in using electronic resources to support our learning in other subjects. I love technology, especially food tech. Yeah, it's great. And speaking of that, let's go show our amazing food in the country. The food here is really, really nice. It's a lot better than my primary schools. The staff are really nice too. They make sure we know what we're doing and help stop people from pushing in. What do you think the ESCs would like to go see next? How about the humanities? That means geography, history and RE. Wow, that's a lot of subjects. Hello Year 6, my name's Miss Knowles and I'm Head of the Humanities Faculty which covers History, Geography, RE and Personal Development or PD. My specialism is history and in year seven we're going to take lots of those skills that you've been developing in year six and we're going to expand them. We start with an introduction so our year sevens have just been doing some lessons about continuity and change and then we start with the Normans and the Battle of Hastings in 1066. It doesn't matter if you have or haven't heard of that we teach you all the knowledge and skills that you need and we go through a lot of British history in year seven and by the time you get to year seven you'll have gone through all the Tudors as well and we finish with Elizabeth the first. I'm really looking forward to seeing all of you in September to 2021 and enjoy year six. Well we could go and see some other subjects like sociology, psychology, criminology and business studies but unfortunately they're only GCSE and A level subjects only. They all do sound very good but maybe we should go see English. We studied that straight from year seven. English lessons are really fun, we read loads of different types of texts. It's not all reading and writing though, and in English we often do activities that involve speaking, listening or even drama. English isn't the only language we learn either. Bonjour, je m'appelle Madame Marima. Guten Tag, ich heiße Frau Williams. We are part of the Modern Foreign Languages Department at Hampton College and in Year 7 you will be studying French and we very much look forward to meeting you. A Wiedersehen! Au revoir! Oh, so I guess that's it. I mean, what other subjects could the Year 6 is want to see? Yeah, I feel like we're missing something. What could it be? I mean, what's behind this door? We study the three branches of science, biology, chemistry and physics. We use practical experiments to develop our understanding of the world around us and are taught by experts with a true passion of developing scientific knowledge in young people. So this is our school and we love it. We're gutted we haven't been able to show you around this year. Well, uh, we've hoped we've given you a flavour of what school's like and what we get up to. There's loads more to say about Hampton College, but Maybe that's best left to Mr Gilligan and his 400 slide PowerPoint presentation. I'm really glad he has cut it down this year though. Let's see if we can do back into him. Give us a minute. Well, um, thank you uh, Sam and Annalise for that tremendous tour of our school. I hope you really enjoyed that. Um, uh, probably the best way to start our presentation rather than a stuffy old talk from the head. Uh, anyway, uh, I hope this isn't too stuffy for you. I'm now going to take you through a few things I think you'll want to know about Hampton College. But before I do, I think it's important um, to, for you to know how, how sad I am that you've not been able to come around and have a look and meet us all. Uh, meet the students, meet the staff, have a look at the buildings, have a look at the classrooms, get a feel for the place. Because uh, we're, just, we're more than just classrooms and corridors. We're a real school community. It's, it's tangible. When you walk around Hampton College, you feel the positivity. You feel what a special school we really are, what a special place we are. And that's down to the people who come here. Um, and uh, you can't manufacture that. And I'm very, very proud to be uh, the head of Hampton College Secretary phase. And I hope um, when you hear me speak, when you, you, you realise uh, why I'm saying that. 
So tonight is an opportunity for you to find out all about um, these things, our values, uh, what we stand for, uh, what your child will learn and how they'll achieve, whether they'll be happy, um, and uh, how to apply for a place. So our values are there. We have eight values that run through everything that we do. And the one at the top is people, because we put that first. People come first at Hampton College. Um, and by investing in people and uh, caring for each other, we find that we get the best out of each other. And uh, that's why we uh, have our students leave at the end of year 11 or year 13 with outstanding achievements um, that we're all very, very proud of. Now, those eight values can be distilled down into our motto, the progress, partnership, and pride. And um, that's not just some random set of three words that we uh, bring out on our open evening. These really do, they're sewn into the fabric of the school. Let's look at progress first. Well, clearly, we all want our students, you want your children to leave school with their best chances to move on to the next stage, with the best qualifications that they can possibly achieve. Whether that be going on to do A-levels, or um, go to college, an apprenticeship, or leaving our year 15s to go to university or higher education. Well, here's a summary of our most recent GCSE results. And you'll see that in 2018, we had our best results in four years. In 2019, we had record-breaking individual performances. And in 2020 and 2021, we were expecting even better um, outcomes than previous years. And our students didn't let us down. Their results were outstanding. Um, and the trend is upwards. As a result of that, we have record numbers in our sixth form. We've got more sixth formers than ever before because our students have achieved and they've gone on to the next level. Here's uh, some of our headline figures from 2021. 80% of our students achieved a grade four in English and maths and 56 a grade five in English and maths. Now, in old money, a grade four is an old GCSE grade C, grade five is a strong grade C. 26% uh, of, all, of all our grades, it's a quarter of all our grades, were grade seven or higher. Now, grade seven is a grade A, an old grade A. 81% of all our grades were grade four and above. That's an old grade C and above. And not only that, it's not just about grades, it's about progress. And uh, we had a significant number of students who made exceptional progress from their starting point in year six up to when they left in year 11. So it's not all about those who get the top grades for us. It's about people seeing their targets, aiming for their targets, and reaching, and in many, many cases, surpassing their targets. In fact, um, this year, some students achieved three grades above their target grade in all their subjects. The majority of students achieved their target or surpassed it. As a result, the majority of our Year 11s made more than expected progress. So we were delighted with our GCSE results, as we were in 2020. A-level the same. Um, our progress scores, which is how a student moves from their starting point of their GCSEs to their final A-level grades, um, we've received awards for the progress of our A-level students. Um, we've received it from the SSAT um, and we are in the ALPS National Directory. Now ALPS is, a, is, a, is an organisation that studies A-level performance at secondary school and um, we've appeared, we appear in that, that directory. We've had many exceptional individual performances with students achieving A's and A stars um, and these are our results this year. You can see 46% of our grades this year were A star or A. And 66%, so that's two thirds of our students received grades A star. Actually, that's, that's incorrect. 66% of all our grades were um, A star, A or B. And we had a 100% pass rate. An E grade is a pass grade at A level. 
The trend continues to go upwards, um, and uh, we have a, a very strong reputation. And as a result of that, we, as I said, our, our, our sixth form is very big, and we attract large numbers of students from all across the city who want to join our sixth form. We also offer vocational courses at A-level. More about that when we talk about A-level courses um, later on in, in your school career. But um, they all receive 100% pass rate. Now, as a result of those achievements, our students go on to greatness, great things. Um, so in all years, the vast majority of our students go on to start, reach the university destination of their choice this year. All of the students went on to the university that they chose. Um, 19 Russell Group universities, um, we've sent students to 19 Russell Group universities in the last two years. Um, they are the, the, the top 25 universities in the country, um, including Exeter, Bristol, Warwick, Durham, Nottingham, Leeds and Sheffield. Um, we've got students at all of those institutions. And they study, and we don't just specialise in certain subjects at A-level and beyond. We've got students who go on to study, it's just a sample of the subjects that our 2021 students, our class of 2021, went on to study. And you can see it ranges from medicine, veterinary medicine, law, various types of engineering, accounting and finance, computing, arts, media, film production, business, education, psychology and nursing. So multi-talented, they receive an excellent foundation it's in the sixth form here and move on to go um, to university to study all those subjects. Here are a few quotes from some people that we've received uh, rec very recently. Probably a good point to pause the video now and have a read of them. So they're from um, as parents of Year 11 students. And some more here. I'd like to heap praise on a dedicated Hampton College teaching workforce, a team that made personal sacrifices to deliver many extra GCSE revision sessions throughout both weeks of Easter holidays during the final run into the exams. I don't believe that the Hampton College team could have done any more. Absolutely fantastic effort from all involved. And I really want to draw your attention to this um, comment that we received this summer. I will be forever in debt to Hampton College you didn't just help my son achieve outstanding results and set him up for his next stage. You changed his life for the better. Without you, my son would be in a different place and I cannot find the words to express how grateful I am now and always will be. Thank you. And that was from a parent of one of our Year 13 students who has just gone on to university in Leeds to study law. So how do we achieve these outstanding outcomes? Well. There's a lot that contributes to that. We've got, we work hard to maintain a positive, constructive learning environment um, where people come first, I've mentioned that already, and where teaching is first class. But there are other things that are focused on the curriculum. We have a broad, balanced, appropriate curriculum, appropriate for everybody. We, we, we satisfy national curriculum requirements, but we have the flexibility at key stages four, that's years 10 and 11, and sixth form for students to opt into subjects that match their strengths. We have excellent learning resources. We're a modern school building. We're fully staffed. We have subject specialists teaching in every subject area. Teachers teach to their strengths. Um, we don't struggle to recruit new teachers. Whenever a teacher leaves, invariably for a promotion, um, we don't struggle to replace. We have numerous applicants for teaching posts at Hampton College based on our reputation. Um, we have really up-to-date exam teaching experience. All of our teachers have been teaching GCSE and A-level right from the start. We have been doing it for years at Hampton College. We know how to teach GCSE. We know how to teach A-level. We're not going through this for the first time. We know how to get the best out of our students. And many of our teachers are examiners for exam boards um, and know exactly what the exam boards are after so we can train our students up to get the, the, to, to get the right information down uh, to get the best grades. We make sure that students know, um, make informed decisions when they're choosing their, their options, that they receive excellent advice. Uh, we set targets early. 
so students know what they're aiming for and we push them to make sure they reach those targets but we also look after them of course as well. Um, they're aspirational but we track the students to make sure that they're not going off course and if they are we can intervene and we can use some um, extra teaching, extra revision resources to make sure the students reach their, their goals. There's a lot of motivation instilled with the students um, in class but we also have inspirational speakers in to keep them on track and uh, pretty much it all comes down to hard work and dedication and we're very lucky to have very conscientious students at Hampton College and a dedicated e expert staff body who get the best out of them. It's all about partnership and as Ofsted said in their most recent inspection of Hampton College, students who fall behind receive precise helpful mentoring and attend catch-up sessions. You'll see um, quotes from our most recent offset inspection dotted around our, um, my slides. Partnership. Ofsted said that pupils at Hampton College are keen to learn. I can't emphasise enough how positive relationships are at Hampton College. Um, our links with parents are strong. Parents are very welcome in Hampton College. Um, we rely on parent, parental support um, to make sure that we can get the best out of everybody. Our primary free schools in Hampton, we have close links with them. We know each other very well. They tell us a lot about the uh, young people who are going to move up to us in year seven. Um, and uh, it's very important to keep those channels open. <coughs> we also have put a lot of um, time and effort and thought into the way in which we nurture our students, in which we care for them. We have a house system. Our tutor groups are, are, um, are meet every morning for 15, 20 minutes. Uh, they have a dedicated form tutor and they're in houses. We have four houses at Hampton College. And each tutor group has representatives from every year group from seven to 11 to make sure that the younger students feel looked after um, and mentored by older students. And it gives those older students leadership opportunities to help look after the younger ones. We have buddying, we have mentoring, we have peer support. With student services at Hampton College is a real strength. Every house has a house, head of house, but we also have a student support assistant who works with the head of house and closely with all the students and really are there um, uh, for students at any point. Um, we have a young carers organisation here, a group that meets regularly um, to look after our young carers who might need some time to support each other. Um, healthy eating initiatives um, are, are a key as well. Our food at Hampton College is, is I would say, without any hesitation, restaurant quality. It, it's superb. Um, and uh, of course, our behaviour for learning, our positive behaviour for learning, I'm sure if you ask all the students who come to this school, they will say that the behaviour at Hampton College is excellent. And I'm very, very proud of our students and I would be very um, happy to in, invite you in for a, a, a tour of the school so you can see for yourself uh, what a calm, orderly and happy school we are. So positive behaviour for learning, how do we make sure that our students uh, want to behave uh, in a way that maximises their outcomes? Well, um, we don't have to convince them because they, they know uh, how to behave. But we do have high standards and expectations. Um, and plenty of opportunities for them to succeed and for us to reward them and celebrate them. I am um, three, probably three or four times a week, meeting young people and giving them heads commendation certificates, often in front of um, the staff in our staff briefings. You will have seen if you follow us on social media, if you don't then please do, uh, you'll see that we're rewarding and celebrating our students all the time, whether that be achievements in school or achievements out of school. Um, we have many, many talented young people who are playing sport, who are acting, who are creating something in art, playing an instrument, performing in theatre, um, raising money, and, and we love to hear about it and celebrate it. We're so proud of our students. And for that, of course, we rely on families to tell us what else our students have been getting up to outside of school so we can celebrate that. We're responsible, we feel responsible for the conduct of our students in the community um, and therefore any action, any incident that may go on outside, we take seriously and we will address um, 
as well because we are proud of our reputation and um, we want to be active in maintaining harmony in the Hampton community. Um, however, let's not um, pretend that some students don't always make the right decision, don't always remember the right way to behave. And as I go back to my first point, we have high standards and expectations. And if students are struggling to meet those high standards and expectations, we will support them and remind them of how to behave um, appropriately. We have a, a very well understood system of warnings and consequences. But if a student continues to um, make the wrong choice, then there are consequences applied. We communicate with parents. But um, if the student continues then, we have um, consequences in place to make sure that fair um, outcomes result. So uh, you know, we're not frightened to exclude people um, for behaving inappropriately because our um, priority is student learning because students only get one opportunity at school uh, to do their best and, and we won't let other people prevent that from happening. I hope my pride of Hampton College is coming through to you uh, because uh, there is no one prouder of Hampton College than me. Um, I'm proud of the staff, I'm proud of the students and I'm proud of our achievements. Um, that quote uh, from a parent of a Year 11 student, I find myself feeling genuinely emotional about the support my daughter has received from the school. You have some amazing people, teachers, leaders, who she will remember for the rest of her life and I know she understands the difference they've made to her. Now, as a head of school, I couldn't ask for a lovelier comment than that. If I took that with me on the day I retire, um, I'll be made up. As I say, we take our reputation very seriously and we aim to leave the badge in a better place. We're proud of our badge, we're proud of our uniform and we expect the students to do their bit to move the school even further forward. Talking about uniform, I think our students look very smart. We sometimes have to remind them to tuck the shirts in, but we've worked very hard on making sure students know how to come to school and how to dress properly, because we believe that a student who is dressed smartly is ready to learn. Um, professional dress gets them ready for the professional workplace, and that's um, how we like to operate at Hampton College, and we do genuinely appreciate the support we have from home in making sure our students come to school looking smart. We have many comments and visitors and um, the community on how good our students look. Hello, I've got Josh here and Favour who are modelling our school winter uniform. Both of the students are wearing blazers, shirt and a school tie. Josh is wearing black trousers. He could also wear a dark charcoal grey if he wished. Favour is wearing our school skirt. She has also the option of wearing trousers should she wish. If you look very closely at our school tie, both of these students are in Sirius House. That's our red house. And both of the students therefore have a red diagonal stripe on their tie. If you look at their shoes, both students are wearing school shoes. What we ask is that the shoes are polishable and they have no logos on them at all. During the summer, students, if they wish, may wear a school logo polo shirt instead of their shirt and tie. We're also very proud of the enrichment opportunities that are on offer at Hampton College, and uh, many of which are um, as a result of teachers investing further time and energy into extracurricular activities. Um, we make it an inclusive um, offer. <clears throat> so enrichment is all about um, opening up other opportunities to our young people um, whilst promoting the values of our school. So we learn outside the classroom. I'm a geography teacher by training and uh, geographers know all about the value of fieldwork and going outside because the subject is all around us. Of course, all subjects have that uh, need to teach outside the classroom as well. And that's why we offer um, many educational trips and visits um, when appropriate. Some are local, some are further afield, some are abroad. PE offer many, many sports fixtures um, 
and uh, we also offer non-essential extracurricular trips and clubs um, to enrich the curriculum offer. Now in our last fall school year, this is pre-Covid, um, when we were allowed to do trips, and trips are starting again um, now that we're back to school, uh, we ran over 75 trips for the equivalent of approximately 2,000 students. So there's plenty on offer for our young people, both throughout the school year and in enrichment week at the end of the school year, which I'll mention in a moment. Here are some examples of some of the trips where we have been uh, linked to the curriculum. So the field trips to Norfolk, Yorkshire, Wales, Lincolnshire, Cornwall, Italy, Iceland and New York. These are places we've been to um, in the year or so before Covid happened. Um, Holocaust memorial visit, literature trip to London, gallery visits. We've entered competitions and ended up receiving prizes at Buckingham Palace. Um, conferences such as um, university selection, French psychology, you can see them all there, aiming for top universities, achieving, uh, sorry, aspiring high, university open visits, and uh, this is on our friend reward and expedition to Tanzania. They were on our, um, they were on our um, uh, timetable, ready for planning. Unfortunately, we had to cancel the Tanzania expedition just as we were launching it, but we hope to get that off the ground again as soon as we possibly can. And the Duke of Edinburgh Award um, is something that we're hoping to launch very soon. Extracurricular sport, well, sport for all. That's our philosophy, healthy living, exercise is good for the mind, it's good for the body. I'm a big advocate for physical fitness um, and we encourage all our students to take part. We have lunchtime clubs, we have interform, um, interform competitions. They are some of the sports that we offer um, as extra activities, cross country. We have sports day with lots of athletics events. We have tennis championships, basketball, rowing and indoor football. Um, dodgeball needs to be on there as well, that's something that we do also. We also have coaching workshops um, and taster sessions to um, help students have a go at a new sport and maybe improve at um, um, a, a sport that they already play. We also have um, representative teams and uh, to be honest with you, um, if other schools know they're playing, playing Hampton College, they know they're in for a tough fixture at whatever the sport. We do very well at sport and uh, we have some students, our elite athletes have gone on to represent the county, the region and even the country. Only today I just heard that one of our six formers has been selected to represent Great Britain at ice hockey and will be playing Iceland appropriately in Iceland um, very soon. So you can see all the sports there that we run teams in in year seven. If you're into sport, Hampton College is the place for you. Um, it's not all about sport though. If you're into your arts, performing arts, then music and drama, we have all sorts going on. Um, there we can see on the music side, orchestra, choirs, Hampton Voices, rock bands. We have practice rooms available for students who want to rehearse and set up their own band if they like. We have performances outside of school, whole school events, at assemblies, at awards evenings, open evenings. If you were here with us this evening, you would be listening to some of our musicians play to you as you entered the hall. Um, concerts, Christmas concerts, soirees, summer concerts, we have all sorts of events and also we have lessons for students who want to learn an instrument. Drama, drama clubs, we take part in drama festivals, Shakespeare schools festivals and so on. Our musicals were renowned, we our first rate musicals, Little Shop of Horrors, um, <clears throat> was uh, one of our most recent ones um, and uh, we were just about to do um, High School Musical before Covid struck so uh, we'll be keen to get that up and running again. Lots of theatre trips and outdoor performances coming into school, outside performances coming into school. Enrichment Week, well at the end of every uh, school year we offer our students um, four days of activities and we have residential trips to Germany, Birmingham, Belgium, Caythorpe Camp and Bushcraft Camp. They are very popular with our students. We have day visits all over the place. There's scuba diving, rowing, trips to Thorpe Park. We've been to Alton Towers, Harry Potter Studios. We've been to football stadium like Arsenal's Grand Wembley um, and also um, on-site trips 
and activities for people who want to stay local, cycling, walking um, and in-school activities as you can see there. Now, I've been um, telling you how great this school is, but that's my job, isn't it? You'd expect me to do that as head of school. Um, I think this is the best school in the, in, in, in the place, of course, I'm bound to say that. But what about others? Well, we ask other people when they come to us on Parents' Evening for their views. Well, this is the parent survey, the most recent parent survey undertaken during Parents' Evenings. And these are some of the questions that we ask uh, our, stu our parents. Um, they are based on the Ofsted Parent View surveys that go out to parents when Ofsted inspectors visit a school. And these are our most recent results. <clears throat> you can see by year group. And the three questions are, my child is well looked after at the school, my child feels safe at school, and my child is happy at school. And you can see the percentages are extremely high, 100% in some cases. I don't think, realistically, we could ask for anything better than that. Um, because Hampton College um, really does take the well-being and welfare of our young people extremely seriously. It is our priority. Um, and you can see that Ofsted recognised that as well. Pupils told the inspectors they feel safe at the school. They cited the secure modern school site and the approachability of adults as reasons for this sense of safety. So if you're a little bit nervous about coming up to Hampton College, you don't need to be. If you know anybody in Year 7 who's just joined us and what a happy bunch they are, just ask them and they'll tell you there's nothing really to worry about at all. Um, year 7 in particular, lots of questions that we asked here. Again, this is probably a good time for you to pause the, the presentation to see if you can see what that says. But the views are high 90% and 100%. Um, all about whether they agree that their child is happy at school, feels safe, making good progress, well looked after, is taught well, <clears throat> that the school deals well with effectively with bullying, well led and managed, uh, makes sure pupils are well behaved, um, finding out information about this, um, from the school about your child's progress, and would you recommend this school to another parent 100%. So, um, really strong parent view figures. For Hampton College. Now you may be wondering now how, how do I get my child into Hampton College? I don't blame you. Well of course you will receive the applications uh, pack online and the deadline for completing that is the 31st of October 2021. Now our admissions criteria is based mainly on distance, all the criteria is there in the pack um, and you can see, um, but basically as our, our, our view is we're a Hampton school, we serve the Hampton community. And if you're a Hampton resident and you put Hampton College down first, <clears throat> the chances are you'll get in. We are oversubscribed every year. I do sit through many admissions appeals where parents have been unsuccessful in getting their child into Hampton College. Um, so um, it is important if you want your child to get to Hampton College that you make it very clear on the form um, that you want that, your child to be here. Now, we're unique in some respects, in that whilst we have 210 places available this year, uh, every year, 60 places are already allocated for our Hampton College primary phase students, our year sixes in Hampton College. So if that's you, if, if you're at Hampton College Primary Year 6, or your child goes to Hampton College Primary in Year 6, you do not have to do anything. Because they are already at Hampton College, they just move into Year 7. They stay in the school, you don't have to apply for a place at Hampton College, because you have a place at Hampton College. If you apply for a school in the um, admissions pack, uh, uh, applications pack, you are in effect giving up your place at Hampton College. So if you're at Hampton College and you wish your child to stay at Hampton College, you don't have to do anything. <clears throat> so let's assume that all 60 of our Hampton College students in year six come up to Hampton College secondary. That leaves 150 places for students, for, uh, young people in other primary schools. And the main criteria is distance. However, there may be some places for those not living in the Hampton community 
and, and every year we do receive students from further afield. So in summary, um, as you can see, um, there's a quote there from one of our parent governors, which by the way, if you're interested in being a governor for the school, as a parent governor, um, if your child is successful in gaining a place at Hampton College, you'd be very welcome. Please just get in touch. As a parent, governor, and member of the local community, it is wholly evident that the Hampton College environment has an increasingly positive vibe. Well, I, I hope that has come across for me today. Ofsted said that we have a strong blend of established school and trust staff, and a new senior staff that has added expertise and impetus. Not so much new anymore. I mean, I, I joined the school in 2017. Um, um, two members of the senior leadership team have joined since. Uh, so we have an, a good blend of experience and experience elsewhere, and, 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 and it's gelled and, and the impact has been significant. We are a happy, popular, very popular, and very successful school that has a reputation for positive outcomes whilst caring for and developing the whole child. And as a father of two children who've just gone through secondary school, I know that outcomes are very important, GCC and A-level results, but caring for and developing the whole child, helping them grow into responsible adults and citizens is absolutely crucial. So we're, in a, good, we're a good school, genuinely a good school. Ofsted rates us as a good school. I believe we're better than good. I think we're excellent. Um, so we're a good school, an excellent school, in a good place, right at the heart of Hampton. I hope that's helped let, um, answer some of your questions. Please do get in touch if you have any more. You're very welcome to come and have a look. I look forward to meeting you at some point soon, maybe um, before your child starts at Hampton College um, when we meet in, in the summer. But until then, thank you ever so much for listening to my presentation and to watching the video um, prior to this.